Hello everybody and welcome back to, after a while it seems, uh, Medieval 2 Total War The Russian Campaign. It has been a while since I last uploaded an episode of this, actually it was last year, 2012. But anyway, I think what we were doing was trying to go for Kiev, get in there very slowly, but I'm sure we'll be able to take it in this episode, um, depending on what the Polish will do. So I'll just move this by, just check that no other armies around here. Looks alright. But we'll end this turn and we'll see what happens. I forgot about. I haven't really played this game in a while or watched the videos in this series for a while, so I need to. Don't remember everything that's happened. But I'm sure I'll be reminded as this game progresses. Okay, the Polish. Always a threat. Okay, got that. Whatever that is. Uh, oh, we didn't lose our merchant, although God is pretty high compared to. Oh, it's actually equal, I think, so that's alright. But that could be a problem at some point. An assassin, what were we using the assassin for? I can't remember. I guess we'll go towards the Polish. Alright, um, that army there. Um, God, it can travel far. I bet it's cavalry. I bet it's an entire cavalry army. So we need to get close to the enemy quickly. I think. But and keep an eye on that Polish army as well. And this diplomat I forgot about. Uh, we'll just, what were we doing with the diplomats? I oh, wish we'll move around here, I guess. Oh yeah, I think we're going towards Spain, weren't we? Um, oh, we've got a diplomat here. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, we're going towards Spain. So that's alright to get some map information and we've got a bit of spare cash uh, could uh, build something I guess that will help us gain money because we can't really spend lots of money at the moment on stuff that won't give us money we need to invest money at the moment and we could go for the next level of farming here increase it a little bit ok that's alright uh, I think I'll end the turn again and we'll keep an eye on that army there Oh, more merchant action. I'm surprised the amount of merchants are in my land, and they just lost their merchant, French did. Which is good, for us, at least. Always worried about the Polish. Okay, another merchant then, it's gone. And, oh, what's going to be the result of this one? Come on, speed it up, guys. Oh, damn, we lost... I'm going to take revenge for that with my assassin. And the Polish... Yep. <sighs> it's coming towards to help them. Damn. Um, I won't pause it. I mean, I won't just tell you this, but I'll pause it. you can pause the video and read that if you want to. Yeah, we didn't lose it. Then we lost our merchant. <laughs> okay. We'll take revenge for that. Oh, Helsinki and somewhere else have built something. Vilnius, I think it was. But we're going to take revenge for that. 15%, God. Damn it, he died. Damn it. <laughs> so, Helsinki built something. I think it was, yeah, communal farming. And Helsinki, oh, Helsinki, Vilnius, built a blacksmith. Uh, yep, means we can retrain some of these guys, better armour. All good, all good. And what is this army composed of? Damn it, Polish nobles. Polish nobles are pretty good. Uh, I could risk going into the city and giving us the gates open thing. So I'm going to have a go at that because I really don't want to fight those Polish nobles. Oh, we've got a little clip here. I'll let you watch this. They're quite good. Will our spy be discovered? Oh damn, he will be. Ow. Uh, yeah, that would hurt. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we might be fighting that army. <laughs> 
can't see that. Uh, we'll go to the north. Hopefully they won't attack us. Uh, actually, we need more men if we're going to fight. Some cavalry would help actually against cavalry. Oh, we can get some more stuff actually. That should be enough. Um, so I end the turn, and hopefully, oh, move on. Diplomats first. Oh god, giant Hungarian army there. Actually, yeah, they are allies. So that's all right. <coughs> god, my voice is dry. Sorry, my voice goes a little bit. Get closer to the Spanish. Right, I really hope they. It looks like they can reach. Never mind. God, anyway, we'll end the turn and we'll see uh, what happens. I think we all know what's going to happen. The Polish are going to attack us. Oh, and we lost another merchant. Great. <sighs> God. Yep, uh, we got to fight both those armies. One to one. Looks like they have a slight advantage. Yeah, Polish nobles against some rabble. Anyway. I'll see you on the okay battle map. Okay guys, here we are on the battle map and I've done this formation with my sort of main army in the rear and um, hopefully these archers have got greater distance with their fire to the, the Polish nobles so what I thought is numbers, might be able to kill a few of them without them even being able to reach my units so and that's their other army over there so I guess I'll have to do something about that Come on, move guys. So, we should be able to fire at them soon. As soon as I see that they can fire, they'll fire. Yeah. Why are you getting any closer? You can fire from there. Right, hopefully they can't fire. And they're already losing some men, which is good. Yeah, if we can get some free hits, that'd be fine. <laughs> and where's our other army? Okay, I think I might turn my infantry around. Get everyone except my general. Oh damn it, they can only go in a line. That's annoying. There are buttons you can use to move formations about, but I just don't know what they are. And I can't be bothered to find out. <laughs> oh, wrong button again. God, not doing very well today. Right, a line, please, and then the archers in front, and then the general behind. There we go. Wasn't too hard, was it? God. Okay, they're still giving us the free hits. And they are losing a few, well, a few men. Better than nothing, I guess. I really don't want to fight the Polish nobles. In fact, they've got a unit of something there, so... Perhaps I can investigate at some point. But for now, it's just this little firing match going on. That we'll just keep it going now, I guess. It's not going to do anything, that's fine by me. These are only really. Oh, they're doing something. They're falling back. Fair enough. Okay, nothing much happening. Let's fast forward again. There is a 37 in that group. Okay. Oh. Got to remember to slow it down when something actually happens. So it can all go very fast if you're not careful. In fact, I think I'll... Oh, they're doing something anyway. They're getting closer. This group of units here are going to go after these two units. Along with my general, I think. My general to go here at double speed to attack the other flank. 
So I just want to wipe out these Polish nobles before I go after the other army. The other army should be fine to uh, finish. It's just get to dealing with these Polish nobles is a bit tricky. I right, my generals get get here. <laughs> it should be now. Right, make you into a group and go down. Are you still firing? No, you've run out. Right, so what I want you to do now, guys, is run behind the enemy and get rid of that. Looks like um, some siege equipment or something, some ballista. I would like them to get rid of it. Try and not hit the, hit the spearmen, because otherwise we'll just die straight away. Okay, how's my other guys doing? I have to keep an eye on that. And charge in. I don't want my general to go in first because he could potentially die. <laughs> Obviously. Try and get round. Oh god, this tiny bit of a mismatch. Right, I want my general to go around the other side. Right, what's happening over here? I think they've killed both of them now, so. Get my guys away. Alright, what's happening there? I think we may have killed one of their units. Yeah, they're broken. What's this over here? Oh, that's the smaller units. I think what I want to do is charge on the smaller unit. guys. So we've got a bit of a cavalry fight going on here. Hopefully one that we can uh, win. No, continue to fight the ones that are still not running away. They are the most dangerous. And we've got our missile cavalry coming to aid. It's so far going quite well. I thought it'd be going much worse, you know. Knowing that these are Polish nobles, not Polish nobles, yeah. After all, I thought we may have had some problems. Okay, they're done actually. Fair enough, come back, guys. We'll go after the next unit, or the small one that we were fighting earlier with the. or firing at earlier at least. That should not be a problem, that bit. And these boy of sons are taking a big hit, so that the rest of our cavalry can kill off these guys. Your sacrifice will not be in vain, guys. In fact, pull my general back. The other lot can get stuck in. Oh, they're broken anyway. That's fine. We've got another unit here. Looks like it might be the last main unit of the um, Polish nobles. But that's fine. Um, it's good if that's the case. Our men are under attack. We must act now. They seem to be getting away though. If we can catch them in the corner like now, yes, we'll be able to get them right. What I want to do now actually is sort out this group of Pesavar army because nothing's happening really. <laughs> and I actually want to group all my cavalry together as well. That will definitely help. Let's zoom in on the action as we kill the last Polish nobles. But um, we seem to have won this sort of little mini battle. That's the captain dead. Captured him. <coughs> but um, I seem to our tactic of picking them off one by one really did work. And we need to go towards wherever they are, over here. Okay, go on guys, charge in. I'm gonna go over to this hill actually. Actually I didn't want my infantry to go in front. I want 
you to go behind at double speed. My archers can fire on the guys. What are these here? The two Polish nobles. Oh, they're still around. Oh my god, I thought they might destroy them. But I was wrong. We can soon sort them out. Don't worry about that. But we're at the moment just firing on them. In fact, they're charging, so we're going to charge in as well. Well, our cavalry gets over this hill as quickly as possible. Why is that cavalry all the way over there? The horse archers seem to be taking forever. But I think we've got this battle well and truly done. It's just killing the last of them. Oh, there they are. <laughs> Couldn't really see where the um, thing was. Yeah, it should just be a battle with the spears now. As our, our remaining cavalry comes over if we like this, we the, enemy. the uh, hill. And smacking into these ballistas. Now go around the rear of them. I'm gonna now hit them. There we go. They should be broken. Yeah, they're routing. Excellent. Right, let's go around the other side and cause some of these guys to rout. Hopefully at least. Some town militia. I thought they were peasants or whatever they're called. Or are they? No, I think they are normal infantry. Hopefully my general won't die here. Yeah, I just wanted them to rout. The there you go. Man, the there we go. Run, the... I will continue the battle, but I'll show you the results screen when I get to it. Okay, here's the results of the battle, and a great battle for us, even a historic victory. Um, I, I really did think they put up more of a fight. Um, when I fought Polish nobles for, especially, they put up much more of a fight, but our tactic worked. And who knows whether we'll take Kiev straight away, or there will have some defenders left. But anyway, great victory, and I'll see you back on the campaign right, map. Right, here we are, back on campaign map. And although I could get a lot of money from ransoming these prisoners back to Poland, I don't want them back on the battle map, really. I mean, the campaign map around the city. I guess that's where they go back to. So I'm just going to excommunicate. Exterminate. It looks like... Well, yes, we've done it. We've captured Kiev. A yellow face. I'm just going to exterminate the populace. Start all over again with the city. But one of our main goals in the earlier game is to capture Kiev, and we've finally done it, which is excellent. Resistance fuel, yep. Yeah. And we'll just go for all this stuff. And we've got a lot of money now to spend. Moscow's built the market. Really good. And there's the remains of the Polish nobles. And oh, good look. We've got one of the historic battle um, things on the map. If you can see it, there you go. Yeah, Ivan won against Captain Kazimers. Whoever, who, whatever that says. And, oh, I can't retrain. Don't have, ah, oh, don't have the building to do so. So we'll do that. And, oh, we can put up to high tax rate. How long will that building take? Three turns. Um, hopefully we can hold it for three turns. Yeah, uh, they have some armies over here, but I don't think they'll be able to reach just be too far out of range for them which is good so I'll just move my diplomats to the next bit just getting closer to Spain actually we can talk to Spain the usual what we usually do they accepted they've got some land in France as well oh and they've destroyed Portugal oh they got both the Portuguese cities I think they've, yeah, they destroyed Portugal already. That was pretty quick going, to be honest. But anyway, we'll continue to talk to the Moors next, and I think we've talked to everyone. 
So, or maybe not England, not sure, can't remember. But anyway, another, I think I'll spend some of this money actually. Let's build something at the capital, why not, at Novgorod. Uh, let's do the next level of farming, which is irrigation. Which will increase it by a massive 52 florins. <laughs> well, I guess it does its difference over time. And Moscow, which will become an important city. And I don't have enough money anymore after money yeah, money anymore after spending that on the farming. So I have to wait till next turn for that. And I guess the next target will be uh, Ryazan, I think that's how you say it. And again, we'll need a uh, medium to large army to defeat this garrison. But that'll be another, as well as going westward. Really, expansion into Poland. We need to concentrate on our eastern borders as well, expanding in that direction. And now, with the capture of Kiev, we've got seven regions. So slowly getting there. Only uh, what was it 38 more to go? Um, in uh, how many turns? 173. Oh, got a tight schedule but um, we'll have a go at least to try to get that but anyway thank you very much for watching this first medieval 2 total war episodes of 2013 and i'll see you hopefully again shortly so thank you very much for watching again and i'll see you next time